And then I saw the bananas and I'd seen them before. Like I'd seen the banana stuff before. I saw them and I'm like, this could be kind of cool. I posted, I think my first 50 videos all flopped. They all got like below 500 views, got like maybe 10 likes. I'm like, this is not, maybe this, this isn't what I'm supposed to be doing. This is a question that I want, to, I mean, I think it tells you, it says a lot about a person. Under what circumstances would you harbor a fugitive? All right, we're back. We're not using our normal mics today because you know. I'm hungry. Ian. No, go ahead. Let's, let's just tell the people what Drake did. Was it Drake? I think it was Drake. <laughs> You know, the party animals, dude, they're just coming in here thinking they own the place. They, that's all I do. That's You're wearing a do. party animal shirt. I am wearing a party animal shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so I walked in today and she goes, are you really going to wear that on the podcast with Jackson? And I was like, you know what? It's a power move and I understand, but... Yeah. Jackson, I'm going to be honest, I almost did. We should, let's properly enter. We're here with Jackson Olson. <laughs> you yeah. probably know him from TikTok and Instagram and maybe Banana Ball. It's basically how I intro Definitely Tanner. X, definitely X too. Like I'm a big X guy. Yeah, yeah. some people may know him as Formally Taylor known. Swift. Uh, they're easily confused. I have a whole Instagram post. I'm just gonna self promote that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Would you consider yourself more of a more of a social media guy or a baseball guy, a um, banana ball guy? I should say. I would say evenly split, like yeah. very evenly split. That's what Tanner said. Yeah. We could do like a side if, by if side, have... and it would literally be both of them saying the exact same sentence in the exact same way. <laughs> yeah, because I don't want to diminish either side of it. Like yeah. I think social media is awesome. I think baseball is awesome. Banana ball, like, and I like doing both of them equally. Yeah, and I think I'm good at both of them equally, if that makes sense. Yeah. So yeah. How'd you get to Banana Land? I know you've said it a couple times, but yeah, I posted a. Um, well, I was on an MLB tour, like ranking all the stadiums, right. trying all the food and everything with a company called Game Time. And I was on the field at Target Field, and the Twins were warming up. And it was literally the most simple thing of, like, them just, they were just playing catch. And I was just walking by, like, recording them playing catch. And I'm like, oh, like I need to play baseball again. Like, I, right. I, I love recording this and everything, but, like, I shouldn't be on this side of the foul line, like, recording. I'm not there yet. I'm not. Like, maybe in five years, which is very funny because I literally said that, like, to myself. Like, maybe five years. And I could see from that day, like, maybe five years from then, like, maybe I'll be done playing baseball. But right. I'll be 30 by then. Um, and so I went home that night to the hotel, scrolling on social media, and I saw like, Trevor Bauer's stuff that he was doing. I'm like, maybe I can do that. Like, maybe I can like start my own like baseball um, like factory or something and make social media content. I'm like, no, that's still not playing. And then I saw the bananas, and I'd seen them before. Like I'd seen the banana stuff before, um, and I saw them, and I'm like, this could be kind of cool. Like I don't know, their team is they're obviously they're playing right now. It was during the uh, Seven City World Tour. Right. Playing already. So I'm like, oh, they they already have their team. Like I saw Ryan, Dalton, Dan Over, Bill Roy, like all those guys. I'm, oh, that, that's the core. Like it's cool. It'll be cool to watch. Sure. And then a couple days later, I'm like, let me just make a video just to see, just to see. And I was like, um, when you finally lose the desire to play baseball and then it's me like hanging up my cleats and I look to the right and it says like the text says and you see the Savannah Bananas baseball team and it cuts to like Ty Jackson doing um, the grocery cart or the um, shopping cart thing around yeah. the uh, Like through the crowd? Through the crowd, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, okay, this is like really, really cool. And then Jesse reached out. I posted a, a couple other videos like saying that it was the best, like the bananas is the best thing to happen to sports, whatever, like really shooting my shot then. Yeah. And then Jesse reached out and was like, what can we do? Savannah reached out and was like, you can come down for a weekend. Maybe we can like shoot some stuff for the summer series. Like you can make some content for a couple games. And I'm like, all right, cool but I still want to play. Right. Yeah. And so I got on the phone with Jesse and I was like, if you need a third baseman, I, I know you have uh, Dalton at second, Ryan at short, um, but if you need a third baseman, let me know. And about a month later, he was like, let's let's do it. That's awesome. That's so cool. So yeah. about a month later, you came to, you came straight to Savannah and you, that's whenever the, that yeah, series so, was. Yeah. yeah, so I was doing that MLB tour and I right. ended it early, like 20, I think I was at like 23 stadiums out of yeah. the 30. And I told Game Time, the company I was working with, I was like, I gotta do this. Really? I'm so That's sorry. Awesome. I gotta do yeah, this. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> it was like a once in a lifetime thing and yeah. You still have that connection with MLB, right? Because last yep. last year during the was it the World Series, you, you were doing that pregame yeah. Yeah. thing. So that's the coolest thing too. Like yeah. also, crazy story. I was in the World Series two years ago or I think it was yeah, two years ago, two World Series ago. And at Minute Maid and I saw on the big screen it was um they showed like a clip of the banana, like a really quick clip of the bananas, and I was like did I see that right? Like, was that... And it was during Game 3 of the World Series. I'm like, no, nah, I wasn't... Maybe it was just a yellow thing that I saw. Yeah. Right. I look back, and I see Dan Oberst, like, hitting a bomb and running to first base. And I'm like, what? At the World Series? At the World Series. That's on so the cool. On the Jumbotron. And they were promoting their MLB, like, 
Um, remember how they came and they re- recorded all of us during the summer series for like that one weekend? Yeah. And they put it on the Jumbotron. And I guess they had been putting it on the Jumbotron at every playoff game. Oh, that's no Promoting way. the Savannah Bananas. And I was like, okay, I love I love that I'm here like making MLB content and I finally got out of Banana Land. Like you guys right. know, it's hard to get out of the mindset of the Bananas. Like sure. when, when you're in it, you're, we're in the eye of the hurricane. But like I saw that on the Jumbotron and I'm like, are you kidding me? Like it follows me everywhere, but also <laughs> it was so cool. Like that connection MLB and Bananas have. Together. Yeah. Like, it's so cool. Yeah. I didn't even know we had that kind of connection where I they were promoting either. us. I yeah, had that. no idea that was a thing. I literally mm-hmm. saw it, and I'm like, I like didn't even, words didn't even come out of my mouth, but, like, yeah. there were a couple people around me, and they were like, that, the Bananas. Like, yeah. Yeah, the Bananas. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm on it. I'm on it. That's not, I'm on it. I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what to say. Yeah, really. They were, we were watching the, I don't know where we were. We were at a B-dubs watching the, the March Madness, and... There was a guy on the court side with a banana jersey on. And I'm like, that's crazy. And at the World crazy. Series, there's a kid with a banana's hat on. Yeah. And the oh, Dodgers opening day, Dodgers there's opening the photo of the kid with the party animal jersey on. It's just like, it's it's bigger than I think we even know at this yeah. point. I feel like almost every airport we go to, I end up seeing like people with bananas gear. And I yeah. know they're not coming from the same place right. as us. Like they're just out there wearing bananas gear. Yeah. And I was like, that's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> that's yeah, so, cool. so cool. Yeah. It's so cool. So when did you start making social media content? I know the, the big viral stick to TikTok video. Was that one of your biggest startup videos that um, really took off and you're like, all right, now I'm going to run with this? So I posted, have... I posted like probably 300 videos before that. Yeah. And they did pretty well. And I had like, I probably 100,000 followers, um, mm-hmm. but it was a long time coming. Like I posted, right. I think my first 50 videos all flopped. They all got like below 500 views, sure. got like maybe 10 likes. I'm like, this is not, maybe this, this isn't what I'm supposed to be doing. Right. Yeah. Um, you're still playing baseball at this point. Still too. playing baseball at this point. Um, but it's actually funny. It might be a three, two, two this upcoming weekend, but me and two of my friends at Hartford saw TikTok, saw the app and we were just scrolling one day and we saw this Disturbia challenge, like the Rihanna. And it was like a dance there. People were doing Right. And we're like, let's just do it. Let's just like try it. Posted on my friend's account. And we actually went through and watched it, like, like scrolled it, went back, scrolled, went back to get to make it have views. And right. it, got, it got a thousand views. And like, oh, so we're famous. <laughs> we, I literally went back and really forth. I'm like, oh, there we go. All right, it's at a thousand views. Let's go. Right. And after that video, I just realized, like, okay, maybe like the views don't matter as much, but we had so much fun. We went to the thrift right. store, or not thrift store, we went to Marshall's, kind of thrift store, <laughs> and, no, got, and got outfits, got like bucket hats, and like did the trend, did it really well. Yeah. And we're like, all right. But I didn't like the dance part of it. Like, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know if I'm not, I'm not going to dance every single time right. on this app. And then I decided, like, maybe I can make baseball videos. Like, no one had been making baseball videos on TikTok. I hadn't seen any of them. Right. Mm-hmm. So I started making, like, funny skits about, like, being, um, like, a college baseball player and your coaches, like, doing funny things. And I, it's funny because I'm still making those videos with Viro. Sure. Like, with our coach right. now. And Viro loves um, it. Yeah. yeah. But before, like, I would never think to ask my college coaches to be in videos. Like, sure. I didn't even think to ask my teammates to be in videos. I, would do, I was doing it all alone. Um, and that's the coolest thing about now is that we get to make them all together. Like right. mm-hmm. we're all coming together and like Tanner was making them at Virginia, Virginia Tech. Like mm-hmm. yeah. Ryan was making them in college, but we were all doing it alone and we were right. kind of nervous to like get other people involved. Yeah. And now we can. Yeah. What initially like, like did you always know that you wanted to do like social media stuff to an extent? Like what kind of like sparked your interest in starting that very first video? Um, honestly, no, I, I had no desire, um, to do anything on social media. Like I would post an Instagram post like once every month, once every two months. Um, and I think it was that it was that dance video that we did where I'm like, all right, this is something. And I kind of saw it as an outlet to like get myself out of just being the baseball player. Like me and Ryan Cox talk about this all the time. Like in college, it, I was Jackson Olsen, the shortstop. Ryan Cox was Ryan Cox, the shortstop. Dalton Malden was Dalton Malden, the second baseman. Right. Now we have all of these very unique things maybe it's yeah. like all right ryan cox the glove magician now and sure. he paints his nails and wears earrings and like does really cool stuff dalton is a musician i'm social media tiktok kid whatever but like all of that is cooler than just being known for your thing that you're doing like on the field right yeah and so i saw that like okay maybe i can be not just jackson the shortstop but like jackson the social media person and like right. And the videos became like more fun and more fun to make and more fun to make. I like come up with ideas and kind of bring people along on my journey of like whatever this was. Yeah. And now it's cool to say like when I make a, a video about my story and I talk about Instacart, 
And like I delivered groceries for three months after college because I didn't know what I wanted to do. Yeah. And people were like, I remember your video that you made at Costco about the chicken bacon. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh, like how do you guys remember this? But it makes yeah. me want to keep going because like, all right, my story's not done yet. Right. That was a part of it. But like, I'm going to be talking in five years about me playing for the bananas like right. that. Yeah. When, I, when I played for the Savannah Bananas, like yeah. hopefully longer, but yeah. Yeah, I think that's the coolest part is like everybody, like at, the end, at some point, everybody who plays baseball has an end of their career. Yeah. Yeah. And at that point, it's like, man, I went to college 10 years ago for this and I got to go figure that out now. Yeah. Whereas everybody that plays for us at this point, for the Bananas or the Party Animals or the future teams, they're all building that social media following. And it's yeah. like every single one of them could go out and now be social media stars if they want to or shift yeah. their audience somewhere. Like it's a great great thing to be able to grow an audience now. Yeah. You know, I mean, you had a massive audience before you got here. So like you have that afterwards and it's, it's yeah. cool to see that you guys have a, f- a future outside of this, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. To an extent. What are the yeah. biggest ways that you've seen like your own platform change? Cause I'm like, obviously like your content is different than where you started to yeah. an extent. Cause you, like you said, you have more guys and like we have this giant brand that like a lot, like we do the fun walk-ups, which we'll get to. Cause I yeah. know, <laughs> you know yeah. which we'll get to, but like, do you see like a change in audience or like, do you see it a change in like ways that people engage with you or how you engage with people now that you're here? Um, honestly not as much. And I think, the reason for that is because I'm making the same content that I did right. yeah. just in a different setting. So like mm-hmm. my Instacart videos I was making, like in- delivering groceries and playing for the Savannah Bananas, you can't get more different than that. Right. But if you go back to those videos, you can see the correlation between like the videos I'm making here and the videos I was making in grocery stores. It's all just like this um, like self-deprecation, like comedy kind of fun, <laughs> like loose yeah. like way of making videos. Yeah. And I've always done that since day one. And then I'll just hit people with like a really emotional story. Right. And like, I love doing that. I love the switch up of that. So I think because I switch up like that all the time, it's, there hasn't been like a major change. Like if I was just making baseball skits in my locker room and those were my first 300 videos. And then I started doing like music videos with the bananas, like coming down from the stairs, like then it would be a different audience. Right. Mm -hmm. But I'm seeing the same people comment that are that commented three years ago on my videos. That's right? cool. And there's just more now, but like it still feels like I'm that like college baseball player just making videos on my iPhone. But like, yeah, it's obviously changed from like a brand deal perspective and like that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But I'm still just making videos. Yeah. What are your parents saying about this? They love it. Yeah. They love it. Yeah. And they're in a lot of the <laughs> during quarantine. They were yeah. in a lot of videos. I saw. <laughs> yeah. 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 They were in a lot of the videos during quarantine. Um, and I, they think the bananas is also the coolest thing ever. Yeah. Like they're, they came to my games every single game, rain or shine, snow in college with five fans in the crowd. But now it's like they like the the excitement of like trying to find a seat right. for the game because they know it's yeah. going to be Do they wait till the gates open to come in? Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, sometimes like Devin will let them in early. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But they like um, that run though. Yeah, that's fun. But they like the social media thing too, and they know that yeah. it's it's my full-time job and right. they yeah they think it's cool who enjoys being in the tiktoks more your mom or your dad my mom 100 yeah. my dad likes critiquing and my mom gets really mad because she'll like <laughs> she'll say something a certain way my dad will be on his phone like not paying attention like right. he's not paying attention but he's paying attention right and he's like you should uh be more excited in that part <laughs> and i'm like well, okay dad and she gets mad she's like oh you want to be in it then and i'm like no no, no 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 don't make this like don't not do it you're right don't wait <laughs> backseat driver kind of situation Literally, that's so, that's so funny all right. What are your favorite walk-ups? Top three that, that you I've have? done? Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, number one, just because it was so happy, was the Ripkin the Bat Dog bringing me my bat. Yeah. yeah. That was my favorite just because and it was quick. Like, oh, I, I love Ripkin. Quick. Yeah. And we're going to see him this weekend, I think, in Durham. Are we? Because Dur- yeah. Durham, he's a Durham Bulls. Oh, nice. Dog. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, I'm yeah. happy for I you I just guys. saw a Ripkin video the other day on my feet. <laughs> Did you actually? <laughs> yeah. That's on, crazy. On YouTube, it was like a this solid thumbnail with Ripkin. It was perfect, though, because last year when I broke my jaw in Kannapolis, we went to Durham, and the first, literally, like, I didn't see any people, any of our people or whatever, when I walked in the dugout, and Ripkin just came around the corner, and I'm like, you are the, you are the one dog <laughs> that I want to see right now. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the word, but, <laughs> but you're, you're the first thing that I wanted to see right now. But, um. Uh-huh. But yeah, and then, all right, that was number one, 100%. Number two, The Greatest Showman, one we did with mm-hmm. all the choreography, this, um, yeah. I don't know how you jumped over the fence, still. That's fun. Unreal. <laughs> That's um, fun, yeah. And then another walk up, I'm just Ken, probably. Yeah, that was fun one too. solid yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Hamilton is up there, I just haven't had enough time to process that that actually was a thing. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. were pumped about that one. That, yeah, that was your idea too, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 I remember Zach brought that one up that morning. I want to yeah. do King George so bad. Oh. I want to do King George so bad. I think bad. you should do it. 
Thank you. Yeah, can I just... <laughs> Suit up. <laughs> just let me do the walk-up for you, and then you can just, like, go yeah. in as... Yeah. You might have to get the reverse mohawk you're talking about, though, because the long hair right. right now is... Well, yeah, no, you're not right. Not baseball, yeah. I think I'm gonna... Well, I'm getting my hair cut on Friday, so I can... And I haven't, you know, you don't, like, put that in the comment section or whatever. There was a comment section. I could have left comments you for my hairdresser comments. to, like, prepare her, but I think it's better if I just go in and say, hello, can you shave the, the middle part of my head? Give me the reverse, yeah. yeah. Just don't even say it, just give me the reverse. And it's a good, it's a good summer cut, too. It is. Like, if I'm swimming, dude, I would be so... Aero- I would go so fast through the water yeah. without my hair <laughs> weighing me down, and then I don't have to worry about it getting, like, tangled afterwards. You don't afterwards. need, like, a skull cap or anything. You're just, like, you're yeah. just free flowing. Exactly. <laughs> also, throw back to when I don't know if you knew about this, but we went in the wa- on the cruise. Yeah, it was like the water was what maybe thirty degrees, forty it was degrees. Crazy. We had <laughs> ju- ju- jumped in the pool. Just, did you? Yeah. Yeah, me, you did. And then uh, Yvonne and was it just it was just us three. Just I us think three. I don't think that? anybody else. It was literally on when the, the cruise boat was in shaking, December. The boat was shaking oh. like this, <laughs> and we just yeah, jumped yeah, in. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how that decision great. came about, but like we were all in the same area. I swam every day on that, that cruise. Day. Really? Yeah, and I was trying to convince people to do it with me, so I'm really happy that I ran into you <laughs> two because you were the only people that would go swimming with me. It yeah. was ice cold, wow. like every single day. And the, and the water was, oh my god. You were kind of going back and forth a little bit. That cruise yeah. was a fever dream. That was, that was not such real. a fun trip. That was not real. None of that was real. But then that like was... the second stop, we couldn't get off because we had to take the tiny little boats off the... For anybody that doesn't know, we went on a cruise in... December. Yes, we did. Big company cruise. So the whole team, the whole yep. staff, everybody went on a big cruise just to celebrate the end of the tour. Yep. Blast of a trip. It was great. Oh my gosh. We so um fun. we actually we booked an excursion for snorkeling and we yeah. got off. We were like with our I guess he was gonna be our tour guide and then mm-hmm. he was like, Yeah, um water con- water conditions? Yeah, apparently the waves were too, Wait, too big. Yeah. Yeah, so that got cancelled and so did the second stop, which would have been so nice because that was the island that was owned yeah. by Norwegian. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So everything would have been free on that it was place. All inclusive. The craziest thing I saw was the Harley Davidson shop on the first stop. <laughs> It's the like, Harley Davidson. Did off. you see that? No. We got off like the first like little island that we were on, and there's just a Harley Davidson place right there. And I was like, that is crazy. That's it's wild. like all these nice in little the like beach stores, and then, and then <laughs> yeah, I was like, what are people doing? I'm gonna, doing bring, it, I'm gonna buy a motorcycle and bring it on the ship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. That was a, that was a blast. That was so much fun. Yeah. Crazy. What's your favorite platform to upload on? Is it Instagram or TikTok? Um, I think I don't know. I think Instagram, and the reason being is because. I have so many more of like my mutuals and like friends right. on Instagram, sure. mm-hmm. so I know they're gonna see it and interact with it. Yeah, yeah. TikTok is a, is just shot in the dark. It, like, it is. I it really literally is. like I think about Ryan, Dr. Dalton, like they're my best friends, yeah. but I don't even see their stuff on TikTok. Right. The second Instagram, I follow someone, it's gone. Yeah. Like I won't see their stuff anymore. Like yeah. I have to go in my friends and scroll because I'll get old stuff. That's true. Like yeah. I think I got a TikTok. I don't remember whose it was from like two months ago. Yeah. And I was like, that's crazy because. <laughs> I yeah. feel like I should be seeing yeah. something. Have you ever thought about that recently? I haven't seen any of your stuff on TikTok, but Instagram really? comes up all the time. Yeah, your Instagram stuff can come up for me, but your TikTok? old stuff. That's so weird. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I'll, like when you follow someone, yeah, I followed. Um, I don't know who, know who it was. It was like a food guy. A video from like a year ago popped up. Yeah. On my yeah. for you page, and yeah. I'm like, yeah. uh, this is literally, and I I went to comment, and I'm like, wait, 2023. April 2023? <laughs> like, what? Yeah, that would be kind of weird. Like, I'm not stalking you, dude. No, right. sometimes I'll go to like something. I'm like, I feel like the time has passed. And they're going to think yeah. that I'm stalking them. But in reality, I just saw it for the first time. Just saw it. Yeah. yeah. You ever think about YouTube? Are you on YouTube yet? I've posted a couple shorts. Okay. Um, they haven't done well. Yeah. YouTube's um, YouTube YouTube stuff. is very different. It, yeah. yeah. I, I think, it. yeah. yeah. It's nice, though, because you can, as long as it doesn't have like the TikTok little floaty yeah. watermark. Yeah. It's just like you could post well, 100 shorts in a day. Once yeah. you start, like, I think like YouTube is one of those crowds, like, where you start gaining that, like, yeah. popularity in that platform. Like, those people are going to be more loyal to you. Yeah, because you have to subscribe. They have to and, like, subscribe. You don't have to subscribe to just anyone. Like, on yeah. TikTok, you just follow. All right, I'll just follow this person, whatever. Yeah, like, whatever, it's fine. But yeah. then, like, YouTube, it's like, I seriously like this person's stuff. Like, yeah. I want to. Yeah. I subscribe to, like, I think eight people on youtube right so that's kind know. of that makes sense actually like a thousand yeah. subscribers is really good on youtube yeah, yeah. You get a thousand subscribers on, or followers on tiktok and it's like all right bro like, all right. Like, what's next cool <laughs> yeah well yeah. sometimes on tiktok they like somebody will really like one specific video but they may not like the rest of the stuff that you post yeah so they'll follow yeah. you based off that video and then it's like oh this isn't actually the content that i want to see at all yeah yeah yeah, yeah you know what you're getting on youtube like i follow you this, the um Guy who catches all the foul balls, Zach Campbell. I think he came last year. Yeah, Zach, one of our interns, edits all his YouTube videos. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, I, and I, I know what I'm getting with him. Like, it's he's going to be catching foul balls at a baseball stadium. Right. So, yeah. like, the next video, okay, I'm going to watch it. Yeah. But, like, 
for my content, I think about it and I'm like, all right, I'm making a, going from making a Taylor Swift like <laughs> love story <laughs> music video to yeah. like an inspirational like, <laughs> video for young fair. kids. And I'm like, all right, the very wide variety. Yeah. Very wide variety. yeah. But you uh, seem to have like a really loyal following on TikTok as well because like you were saying, like even yeah. your older videos, like you've always kind of like maintained that consistency. Yeah. So like if people followed you for a while, like they definitely know what to expect. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. like, that's good. My videos are all over the place. They're so, I literally, I post something and I'm like, I know it's going to flop, but it's for me. <laughs> you, had, for my... you had a couple. You had that one where you did the jump in the um oh, in the, the puddle, uh, puddle and the sounds gone. Oh, that one did go by. Really? Yeah. It's it's like 1.4 and I was like, oh, this is great. And like it's got a good ratio of likes. Yeah. And I was like beautiful. But then when all the sounds got taken off, yeah. all of my like major videos There's that actually loophole. did There's well. A loophole for that. What is the loophole? So you look up the sound and yeah. you have to scroll, keep scrolling like way down in the sounds because like all the top ones will be the removed ones. Yeah. Right? But if you scroll way down, it'll be like the person that screen recorded the sound and made a video really? with the sound. So like all my ones that got taken down in the Did last, you fix like, them all? Did not you, like, all go of them. I didn't go down like a, past a year. Yeah. But like I fixed all of them because you can just find people that like made the sound That's themselves. That's interesting. I'm that's good to know. So you get 100%, especially for that one, you get 100% fine. When I have a sound. couple extra hours on my hands, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just scroll yeah, through. Because it's, it's totally so sad, perfect. like, looking at all these, like, like videos that did pretty well, and I'm just like, yeah, they're just kind of... But good. I don't want to take them down. Yeah, no, Because then people no. can see the number, and they're like, oh, maybe she's got some good stuff, and then uh-huh. they'll find out that I don't. But, like... <laughs> <laughs> but there's a chance that you but do. But there's a chance. <laughs> um, okay, listen, I have some... Um, I have some just... <laughs> some fun little questions. Caleb's questions... Whatever well, she gets in. Would you rather questions? Anything. Yeah, I just have like two actually, but I could definitely come up with more. Okay. Would you rather these? Everything I came up for Jackson is just like social media based. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you rather lose all your followers or be trapped in a giant snow globe for three months? You just came up with a that number, didn't you? Three, <laughs> three months. months. Yeah, it's like, gonna be weeks, but <laughs> three months. <laughs> it's gonna be weeks, but that just doesn't seem like it's a hard enough stretch. You know what I mean? Wow, that's actually crazy to think about. I don't know. Uh, it's like that Mr. Beast video. Would you rather just sit in a store by yourself for three months or <laughs> lose but all But a store is nice because you have everything you need in a store. What do you actually have in a store? mentally world? insane, though, by yourself. Can yeah, I, it's like, All right, this is a follow-up question. Yep, yep, yep. Can I repost, like, videos that I've posted? Oh, you're saying just lose your followers. <laughs> yes. Here, let me repeat the question. <laughs> Would you rather lose all your followers? Okay, so or, not lose your entire social media, just your followers. So all my just videos your are followers. Still there. Your all your media is there. Oh, the snow globe. I'd rather be trapped in the snow globe. Wow. Yeah. All right. Because wow. be, just because I'm I'm thinking like, if you lose your followers, you still have like those people aren't gonna follow you again. They already saw the videos right. that you posted. They're not following you again. They might look at your videos. Yeah. I think I would, yeah, I think I would, I would do something. So, like, you would lose your entire, like, no more Instagram followers, no more TikTok followers, nothing. You have the videos, but you're starting over fresh, and you'd be fine with that? No, he said the opposite. No, I'm saying the opposite. Snowboard. Oh. I would be in a snowboard, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The way I reacted to it, I, it sounded like I was going to choose the other one, but I, I, I was thinking snowboard. differently in my head about, like, All right. I'm not, I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose it. Another one. I really was... Kind of focusing on the number three. Um, would you rather get canceled or have to sing everything you say for three years? <laughs> three years? <laughs> what am I getting canceled for? <laughs> Zach can come back and get canceled. <laughs> well, I've been paused on it multiple times. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What's a what's a not great thing to get? There's a lot of not great things yeah. to get canceled yeah. for. And probably stuff that you can't even say. Like, all right. Um, yeah, right. I get canceled now for saying it. Just say it's not for a good reason. Do I have I to guess. sing it in a certain accent or can I just sing it like... In uh, a certain accent. <laughs> like country? Am I singing country? <laughs> no, you have, oh, to, oh, you have oh. to be Australian for the next three okay. years. Or maybe like... Opera. I would probably... If it's really bad canceling where like you can't come back from it, then I would sing. <laughs> Is there a... Can- yeah, I guess there, there's Is definitely the- a cancel you can't come back from. Yeah. It there's... Be really bad. Yeah. yeah. Like, I always think of Logan Paul. Like, everyone thought that dude was done. Yeah, and now he's just, he's not, yeah. Biggest WWE star there is now. Yeah. So it's like... <laughs> I got a non-social media related one. Yeah, okay. let's go. I think I, I, I am going to know the answer to this one. <laughs> Pickleball or tennis? And why? Pickle, and all right, well... What would you actually... say to the people that say pickleball is ruining America? I... <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> because I have friends... I sorry I'm here no, I voted, I voted, I voted so on America quick. I have people that are like yeah these old people take over the church yeah. they play their pickleball they don't let anyone touch any of their stuff for two hours every day and it's ruining America we if I was good 
No, please go. I was going to say, if I was good at tennis, like, I would love tennis. Okay. I'm just, I don't think I'm, I can't, I can't get it down. Pickleball is so easy. Anyone can it play is. it. So I think that's why I like it more. Yeah. But if you're good at tennis, I think you would, okay. everybody would pick tennis. You should come play with us. Yeah. You, you would, would play tennis. Pickleball like or tennis? Tennis. Tennis. Yeah. And, and pickleball. pickleball. Pickleball less. I want to play pickleball more often. Yeah. The last time I the last time I played was with Ian, um, probably in the prep season before work one morning. I'm just I like tennis. We do tennis like every Tuesday. Yeah. I love just, the sound of the, the when you get it when you hit it good. Oh, right. Yeah. And it just curves down. It's so oh satisfying. my gosh. Pickleball, there's not really that satisfying. It's unless little, you have a good rally like, going. Unless like, yeah, you do a little dick. Yeah. 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 You don't really get that like from way behind like spike in pickleball. Yeah. yeah. Tennis, when you get that, that's when I'm like. Tennis is up. like the more violent of the two, and I think that's why I like it more. You have to be more athletic. It feels like a too. battle, you know. And a one v one in tennis is definitely. I don't know though. Pickleball one v ones. I've. I think they're the best workouts I've had. Yeah. You're sweating. Your heart's pounding. But if you're. You're stressed out because you miss stupid points in pickleball sometimes. If you're playing against somebody who knows how to run you corner to corner, tennis is by far more athletic. Because you have to run further. You have to run. I think. The, all right, maybe not. I think you have to have more endurance. Yes. But the more athletic you could, you could say that pickleball is a more athletic sport because of the moves you have to do. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, and you have to swing harder. Like tennis, you just you do it have bounces to swing more. Harder. Yeah. Pickleball, you're like whipping it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm more of a tennis person. My sidebar was yesterday we played tennis and we were like almost almost ready to leave. Like we had been there for two hours. We're like time to pack it up and go home. But there is this like couple that came on to the like two ladies came on, they sat down. They were like probably in their sixties or seventies. And they it looked like they had gear. So we were like, well that court's open. Like they can have it. Like yeah. we're just playing on one side. They sat there for like half an hour or so just watching us. And then when we went to leave they also left. And I was like that's the They were scouting thing. That's what I said. They were scouts. I don't Maybe think they, they were. Like, they didn't like what they Scouting saw for their league. They, they didn't like what they, did. they, didn't, they, didn't write, they didn't write anything down. <laughs> they didn't come up to us or anything like that. They were just like, no, nah, we didn't see anything. Yeah, yeah that's so worthy. Bad. Yeah. Okay, Jackson, I want to talk about Broadway. Okay. What shows have you seen on Broadway? I have seen Lion King. I have seen Back to the Future. I have seen... All on Broadway? Oh, you guys have both seen Broadway, Broadway. Shoot. I've only seen like them on tour. I've never been to New York to see a show. That's like my dream, but it's so expensive yeah. to go up there. Yeah, it is. And yeah. then uh, Wicked. Um, what else have I seen? I saw one other one with my parents. Um, New or old? Older. I th- I was really young too. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. The Do only other know? only other one like similar to like not Broadway but kind of Broadway is Blue Man Group. I feel yep. like they're they're kind of like they go to Universal show. sometimes. Really? Yeah, they try because they have like this big like um, marquee or something like outside of Universal, and I was like, that's huh. weird. Had no idea they performed here. Wow. But yeah, Back to the Future was the best. I could watch it. I could go to that one a hundred thousand times. How similar work. is it to the movies? It is the it is the movies. Is it actually? Yes, that's cool. That's and it's cool. all condensed. I mean, it's not like they don't talk about like a lot about the Wild West and like that, but yes. like it's it's it follows the script. What kind of like effects do they have? Um, do they do the clock they tower scene? Oh, the clock tower scene is crazy. It's wild. <laughs> like they literally have the string, but they have like a um, screen, obviously for yeah, the yeah. building. But like they have, you can't really tell in the moment because you're walk- looking straight on, like what's real and what isn't. Yeah. So it's that it's re- it's pretty cool. That's so cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I've only seen two on tour, and it was Aladdin and Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice had great effects. Really wonderful effects. I haven't seen the movie. The play is, I think, a lot more fun i don't know i've Peter seen Juice. i've seen clips of the movie yeah and i'm not a huge tim burton fan typically yeah his stuff is kind of scary looking I'm it is scary. the people his it. characters are kind of and he always does like the weird stop motion thing even like in his like live action stuff he does these weird stop motiony like claymation-y looking things and i don't <laughs> like it i'm just not yeah. a, i'm just not a fan see he doesn't look like he Either. I don't like Tim Burton stuff. <laughs> no, but um, the Beetlejuice show had like this really cool like it's got the giant sandworm thing and he rides on it at the end like these really oh. cool like practical effects. Love stuff like that. That's cool. That's. Cool. I want to see Merrily We Roll Along so badly, and it's like there's a revival going on. It was like originally in the '80s, and like it's it's about like I love shows that are about people who make shows. Yeah. And it's one of those. So it's That's like cool. I think a writer and a producer, or, like composer, or whatever, but. They tell it backwards, the whole thing. Huh. Interesting. I need to go see him. You want to weigh in on Broadway? You I, seem like I've a Broadway. seen Lion King and I was like eight. That's I hear it. that's one of the best shows you it's, can see. Yeah. yeah. 
Everyone say it. they say it's the best Disney show that you can see. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I would love to go see. I think I'd, I mean, I'd go to Hamilton in a heartbeat. Oh my gosh! Yeah, my I have, have seen twice. Hamilton. Now have that been. I think about that, I went in Oklahoma City last year. We were literally two rows, oh, right. like from the front. It was no way. The, yeah, I paid a lot of money to be there, but it was great. Did you see the um, guy who plays Hamilton commented on the video? No. Yeah. Really? What? Well, one of one of the guys. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Was it the most recent one that just retired because Viro knows him? Um, it might have been. It, he knows. That's him. That's really cool. Like, it was. I forget what his name is, but yeah, it's like the one of the top comments on Instagram. Imagine That's we got so one cool. of them to come out to like live sing, oh. like live sing a walk up. Live sing walk up is something I want to do so bad. That like, would be a live so cool. artist there singing a song that you're doing a walk up to or somebody's doing a walk up to. That'd be cool. And like, they just like pop out and they just, oh, that would be <laughs> cool. Right, or like, yeah, like, or they start the walk. I don't Give know. Give me Cyrus wrecking ball for Maceo. <laughs> right. <laughs> just, just right there, right next to him. <laughs> if Maceo's coming down the stairs, wrecking yeah. ball, she's on it. <laughs> if he, like, jumped over her, that'd be cool. Oh, it'd be so cool. I, I don't that know. There's be. just so, many, so much you could do if the live artist is there singing. It's like, I don't I don't know if you start on him and then you guys That's jump so in behind him and be think, a backup yeah. dancer. Or, like, I don't know. It'd be so cool. I, and I think if you could get a big artist, that video would go dummy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you get your hair highlighted sometimes, yeah? Yes. Okay. I just want to I wanna take guesses on how often you get it touched up because okay. I don't know how those things work. Okay, you guess. I also have no idea how those things work. Um, also, mind you, I've only done it three times ever. Okay. Really? Yeah. Okay, so that's going to change but, my answer. But no, okay. I never said that they weren't recent or they weren't not right. recent. I never, so I'm just three times. I you without highlights. It's hard. You didn't have them all last tour. No. Or mm-hmm. at all, yeah. No. I'm going to say once every two months. Man, that was my guess. Yeah, take that. Okay, hang on. (laughs) I'm going to go, how long has your hair been lighter? Was it lighter in prep season? Don't say anything. I'm just going to breathe if you're... I don't think it was, but I have no I don't think it was. No, maybe it was, though. Ian's close. Nice. Okay, so I'll go... (laughs) Yeah. I'll go... um, The number you were saying all the time before. Three, let's go. Yeah. Nice. Not all the time before. Oh, yeah. Just it me. didn't even see that no hint or anything. Yeah. <laughs> I got that right off the dome. <laughs> I've never actually done anything with my hair. I, I did it because uh, Dalton and Ryan were yeah. bleaching. They were buzzing. They buzz and bleaching. Yeah. And I'm like, I have to do it. Like our whole thing was like boy band energy, boy band energy, right? Like DBE um, last mm-hmm. year. And I'm like, I can't be the only one not to do it. So yeah. I'm like, I'm only gonna get highlights. Like I'm only doing it, whatever. Right. And then this last time, I was like, just make me blonde. She was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, let me okay. let me see. Let me. No, it is a lot lighter. It's very summery though. Very summery. Yeah, it is summery. Very summery. I used like the sun in one time last year, and I just put like streaks when I went to the beach, and it lightened it, and it's still light in those places because really? I haven't had a haircut since, and I don't even know how it worked that well. But I went to the hairdresser last year, like right after I had done it. And she goes, "Do you like professionally color your hair?" And I was like. No, I went in the sun with this stuff, and she was like, "That is absolutely terrible. Throw it away right now." <laughs> I was like, oh, All right. "I am Brutal. so sorry. I did not know that was an issue." It's almost grown out now. When I get my hair cut for real this time, it'll be gone. My hair will be back to normal, but it kind of doesn't even look like it's there personally. What's some of your favorite partnerships that you've done? Partnerships, yeah. Um, Gatorade, yeah, is definitely a really fun one. They allow me to kind of. Make whatever videos I want, right? But tied into Gatorade. Um, yeah. Capital One is cool because it ties into MLB, and, right. and Capital One's the official partner. Um, yeah. Of Major League Baseball, so that's a cool little thing. Um, those two, and then favorite ones. Um, probably th- those are those are the two main ones that I'm yeah. like fired up about. Right. Um, yeah. The cool game one made me smile. I was like, "That's that's funny." Because cool it worked out. Cool. It worked out perfect. For yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, I did like, like that one a lot. Yeah, that was fun. That one was fun. Yeah, that was cool because like I'm I was the only one. There was a panel of people talking. Yeah, and I was the only one that didn't have like I had an unconventional path to getting a gap in my tooth. Right, and like it's closed up now. Um, but like everyone else just it was born with a gap so they were all talking about their story and I'm like alright time to throw everyone for an absolute yeah. loop alright I got hit in the face with a baseball uh, <laughs> like, yeah. and they were like oh okay Thank you. they didn't even know what baseball was and I'm like right. okay. good <laughs> I remember right after you got hit like obviously you were bleeding a ton and you guys went into the back into the locker room I was still, still on you had the mic on and I'm sitting there on the field and I'm like, man, like he has his mic on and Yvonne came over comms and he's like you're gonna need to go get that mic because if he's heading to the hospital or something Probably not gonna want to have that all recorded. Probably not. I'm like, probably yeah. not. So I, I like, I set my camera down and I'm like, all right, here we go. So we walk. I walk back in and as soon as I get back into the locker room, I see like 
six paramedics surrounding you. Yeah. And I'm like, this is just not the time to walk into this huddle and be like, hey, man, can, can I, I take a mic? mic off of Jackson real quick? <laughs> and so I'm sitting there. I'm, like, trying to listen to the conversation, see if it's, like, the right time to come in there. Yeah. And I, like, I hear a little break, so I, I make my move, and I'm like, hey, man. It's like, I have this mic on you, and I know you're going to want it later, but I'm, I need that mic now. I think and you're I, like, yeah, man, yeah. here you go. I was just walking around. I was like, I literally yeah. told Francis, I was like, I think I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I think I'm fine. She's like, no, you're not. You're going to the hospital right now. You broke, broke. Well, uh, fractured it, fractured. Yeah. yeah, and then but there was it was a laceration. So when I got hit, I bit down on my cheek, mm. oh. and so that was the main part. Yeah, gotcha. So oh, how that's, lucky, that's how lucky it was that you had the mic though. Great for content. Oh, oh my gosh, that, I mean, I'm sorry, it, are my teeth okay? <laughs> if it's gonna happen, it might as well happen with a mic on. Yeah. yeah. Would you say it's fine? I'm a beast. It's fine, I'm a beast. <laughs> I'm a beast. <laughs> and and Byro was like, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. I'm like, I'm supposed to take it easy right now. Right. Like after getting hit in the face. Yeah. <laughs> like, I literally felt my cheek like go bigger. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna take it easy. Yeah, that whole interaction was hilarious. Yeah. I remember we, we went we went to dinner and Yvonne pulled it up on his computer and we were like we were like making sure no one was around, but we were like, We have to listen to this thing right now. Yeah. And <laughs> just listening to it. And, and like then listening you put to all the captions on it. Yeah. And then you said you wanted it and we were like, Oh perfect. So he doesn't care if people see it. And yeah, no, no. But this TikTok like, you made at the hospital was also really funny. Which like, the I doctor didn't... then told you you shouldn't have done, right? The he, jumping. Yes, stuff. yes. Yeah. And also, he's going to be at the games this weekend. Really? No family. way. Oh, that's cool. So I'm definitely going to give him like a side bat from the team and the yeah. ball and stuff. And yeah, like, hey, that's thanks. really cool. That's and awesome. also, I came back three, in three weeks and not three months like you told me to, but right. <laughs> that's another story. Sorry. <laughs> Probably won't tell him that. Yeah. It, it's, do you have to take it easy? Like, if you get hit there again, is it bad news or is it um, like good I don't think so. I mean, there's, I have plates in there. Yeah. Um, but hopefully, you're, you're we go. Go. hopefully it doesn't happen. Yeah. No, it won't happen again. No. It would never happen again. Yeah. One and done kind of deal. One and done kind of deal. Kind of deal. <laughs> yeah. If it happens again, yeah. whatever. Yeah. I want to do another would you rather question, but I didn't, I didn't write any more down. Oh, wait. I do have some fun hypotheticals, though. <laughs> Well, it's like whenever baseball, whenever you don't play baseball anymore, hopefully obviously 10 years from now or whatever, what's like the dream position? Is it announcer for the MLB, side announcer for the MLB? Is it like partner with the MLB where you're still making your own content and you're just like partnered with them for special stuff? Yeah, I think honestly, I I like the hosting yeah. of it all. Like I could see myself like maybe hosting a game show or something. That'd be cool. Um, Ooh, that'd be so cool. And yeah, because I feel like I have like a, and I obviously want to start hosting more in-game stuff. Sure. But like even when I'm doing the food reviews, like to the whole stadium, like with the mic on, I'm like, I, I like doing this. Like I like talking to a big group of people and like making them laugh or the Colgate panel when I was talking, like I made the crowd laugh like three or four times. And right. Like, Wait, let me just keep going with this. And so like that excites me, like hosting maybe. Yeah. Um, and I mean, maybe like doing speaking engagements and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, kind of like Jesse does. Like he goes in that speaking sure. um, tour and yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. If you like to make people laugh, have you thought of stand up? I thought about that. I'm not funny enough for that. Yeah. I'm, I'm good for like when people come, they don't expect me to be funny. And then maybe mm-hmm. I like right. throw out a couple things that are like Maybe quirky. it's just a special kind of stand up. <laughs> maybe. I can't, I can't have people like sit, sitting down expecting me right. to make them laugh. I'm not going to make you laugh. I'm going to stumble on my words 100%. Right. But That's like, fair. yeah. I love that rush after you get done talking to a big group of people. It's yeah. Like, Man, I want to do that again. Let's go. Yeah. Right now. We were talking about, because Ian, like, if we had one person sitting here right now, he would not. It would just be awkward for me. Uh, like, I'd be like, <laughs> if they're not involved, like, in the, like, if people were in the office right now listening to us. That's why I like doing it. At, well, I mean, we can't do dorm work, obviously. But yeah. If, yeah. if I knew the office was full of people right now, I would just be thinking about everything I'd be saying. Yeah. But it's different in front of a bigger crowd. Yeah. And when you're they're talking to a crowd, it's like, yeah. Real people. Yeah. No, it feels like that. Because, like, I don't like talking in small groups, but, like, I used to theater and, like, there'd be like a couple hundred people in the crowd and that was fine because first of all you can't really see them because the lights are so hard yeah, yeah so it's pretty much like you're talking to a wall essentially yeah right? so it's just different yeah okay listen if you had the skill set of one animal what would it be did you just come up with this no i have it written down oh, okay. in my notes right under really <laughs> right under would you harbor skill a fugitive set? and that's cool <laughs> I mean, obviously, I mean, this is like a, this is kind of, I'm not sure if this is a loophole to this, but like, I would be a bird so I can fly. Like, yeah. No, loophole. That's a, no, that's a skill set, no, I guess. Good. It is a skill set. I was thinking you were thinking more so like, uh, like specific, like, um, like, e- like having an eagle eye. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or I but, hate to go back to mantis shrimp like I did um, in the last, probably all the episodes. <laughs> <laughs> she mentioned it once podcast. But I just, they're so cool. How can you not what, love mantis what shrimp? What skill that they have would you want? What was the heat? How, how hot does it get the water? Their punch is so fast and powerful and strong, the water gets to be like 8,500 degrees. Which, 
doesn't make sense to Which me. They didn't I, I know me, people but put it's true. them in tanks and they own them. Well, if yeah, that I happened, it would shatter glass, right? No, it doesn't shatter. It doesn't. Or, I don't know how. Or burn a house down. But it doesn't. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. All right, well, maybe. it's underwater. It's not going to catch on fire. Interesting. Um, they also see like a really big range of. I think they have good eyesight, but I, that could be a lie. But I think it's true. I have no idea. Or like if you were an owl, spin your head all the way around, scare people. Yeah. Just for the shock factor, really. I love seeing owls in public. What? <laughs> <laughs> you ever like you're just chilling, nice summer night. I don't think I've ever seen an owl. See an owl in the tree. Owls. They're legs, freaky. Owls' legs are so incredibly long. Did you know that? No. Can I show you a picture? I've only seen like the face. I've only seen their face. And then their heads rotate the whole way around. Owl That's crazy. crazy. Spin back. Owl. Yeah, they're legs. freaky animals. Have you ever seen a woodpecker's tongue? No. All right. That's you're the just next full picture of. I'm... How did you even get to a point where that was something that you looked up? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> look at look at those look at those legs. Oh my gosh! Isn't that wild? <laughs> <laughs> it kind of ripped. <laughs> it's, no, honestly, but they have like they have crazy long legs. And then let me just for the heck of it show you a woodpecker tongue. So basically, like they they use their heads a lot to like peck into trees, and their tongue kind of like encases. Oh, I just typed in woodpecker. Please excuse me. I can't talk and type at the same time. <laughs> Um, woodpecker tongue. So it wraps oh. around, like, through the... Yeah. <laughs> around their Oh, hole. my gosh. I have to assume it prevents them from getting concussed, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> All I know is that it wraps around, like, the entire... It just extends around everything, huh. which is crazy. That's weird. Um, okay, next question. Would you harbor a fugitive, and under what circumstances? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. I guess it's the circumstances part is the most important. But like, you, you, you give me the circumstance, and I'll tell you yes or no. Do you remember the "Would you rather" question where I was like, "Would you get canceled?" Or yeah, <laughs> <Just trying. laughs> Um. So anyway, uh, I don't know. Just like, tell me. She brought this up podcast like number two that we did, and it was just us, and I was like, I don't even know what you're talking this about. This is a question that I want. To, I mean, I think it tells you. It says a lot about a person. Under what circumstances would you harbor a fugitive? You give me the circumstance and I'll tell you yes or no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that's not fair. <laughs> that's like, fair. That's fair. That's fair. So, okay, there's a situation where this would work out for, well, it may not work out, but technically you wouldn't be doing a bad thing. Well, technically you would be breaking the law. But <laughs> if I'm breaking the law, then I'm not. <laughs> no, but listen. Which, you're, so, you're, so you're, basically I'm not, I'm not at all. No, but Because most of them are breaking the law. Hear me out. Okay. okay. Say that somebody is like framed for a crime they didn't commit. They freak out. They're on the run. They didn't do it. They didn't. They're innocent okay. people. They didn't do it. They didn't do it. But. And they knock on your door and they're like, Jackson, I don't know where to go. These people are going to arrest me. They're going to put me in prison for 20 years and I didn't do this thing. Can you help me? <sighs> you can't believe people. I'm too nice. And like the, the scenario, problem is like I, I wouldn't be able to just say like, I'm sorry. No, like I wouldn't. I know myself well enough where I wouldn't be able to just close it off. <laughs> <laughs> So I think I probably would do it. <laughs> Come on in. I got dinner in the, I got dinner in the I, oven. I have food. I don't have a lot of... We can overeat stuff. Like, you want to overeat? It's like, I'm about to order food. Like, completely just done the situation. Yeah. That's so, good. basically, we can trim that how we want it. Yeah. <laughs> and then frame it. Um, I'm going through these questions that I asked you way back in January yeah. because they're important to me. Um, oh, he already, do you ever picture yourself on talk shows? Well, he said that he wants to host. Would you, yes. so. Yeah, I was going to say, have you ever been reached out to by talk shows? Um, like, no. If you got to reach out to Jimmy Fallon, I mean. I was just going to say Jimmy Fallon. I would do, I would, that's the dream, James like to be able Gordon, to do one of those. You could do carpool karaoke. Carpool karaoke would be Ziggy awesome. did, uh, Or like the crosswalk musicals. Yeah. Love those. Who did Ziggy do? He did, uh, Jay Leno. Jay Leno, yep. Yeah. I yeah. forgot about Doing that. Doing back tricks, yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. That's, that's whenever cool. he that's the coolest really thing. first took off. Yeah. They had him on. Like his first few videos went viral. I think that's yeah. whenever he jumped on Jay Leno. If we bring him on, we just need to have him balance the mic the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I'm surprised Jesse hasn't been on one of them. On? I know. Show. Yeah, I know. Like, you would think they would eat that up. Like, they're so, like, they do it every, like, yeah. Jerry Fallon, every single night, like, yeah. has it. That has to pick new guests. Right. Like, Constantly. How just people not come up in a conversation? I don't know. Maybe he has, and they just says no. I don't know. Yeah. He has a smaller following than all the guys, though. I'm not <laughs> trying to him. I'm just saying it is, it is the truth. <laughs> he doesn't He doesn't have as many followers as you guys. Yeah, I don't know. The, the bananas do, though, and he owns the bananas. So. Maybe, like, the stage lights would be too harsh on, like, the yellow. The yellow. Uh, the yellow those... might be... Tough and, in that. Yeah, yeah, and they probably just think, man. That's why he hasn't come on your podcast yet, because that light right he there. He said episode two. He was like, 
Two hundred. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to remember if it was one or two hundred. We did talk. It came about up the other day, and he's like, "What episode am I coming on?" And we're like, "What episode do you want to come on?" And he's like, "I don't want to come on." So at least a year. At least yeah. A year. So we're like, "We'll see you in four. Because yeah. if we post weekly, that'll be four years from now. Yeah. Oh, wow. is it actually? And we do not post weekly, so more like eight, probably. Eight. Yeah. But we're we're gonna try. Hey, episode two hundred. I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that. We can Every, promise that to the crowd. Yeah. Episode two hundred will be Jesse Cole. Every time we've like made a commitment to post more, we've posted you, less. Actually, what you can do right now is you can AI Jesse's voice and right? do a podcast. That's true. Oh, we can have that guy say whatever we want. Yeah. Jesse, would you harbor a fugitive? And under what circumstances? <laughs> Any circumstances. <laughs> Any circumstances. <laughs> I'll do Jesse, it. It's illegal. They are welcome into my house anytime. <laughs> Jesse, no matter what they've done. <laughs> <laughs> Mass murder, come on in. Dinner's yep. ready. <laughs> Jesse's voice, boom. Well. <laughs> That's so good. Um, okay. This was when I was back, when I was an intern, I used to do like daily, like, would you rather questions, which were a lot weirder than the ones that I've already asked yeah. you. Um, so would you rather, this is going to be confusing because this confused us last time at the car one. Would you rather all people look like cars or cars? <laughs> Or all cars that look like people. So basically, would you rather not be able to tell the difference between people and cars? Like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> you, I, I'm so confused because I feel I like know. it's the same thing. I know. I, I knew it was going to be confusing. So basically, if you had people look like cars. Okay. Cars will, <laughs> cars will still look like So would you rather have... <laughs> Cars. Wait, I just have to. So, all right. Which, so, one of them. One of them is Cars the movie. No, no, like, wait, wait, wait. No, it's different. It's different. So, like, if if in this scenario, <laughs> free <laughs> woman. All right, cars all right, all right, look all right. like people. All right. If people look like cars in this scenario, cars would still look like cars. So you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. So cars, there's still they. There are still cars, but how would a. Per- Okay, I get it. And then, I don't. It was, but but, but if, if all people then, look like cars, then they can't drive the cars that are can't, already cars. They can't. It's just it's just you see. It's just you the way you. Oh, see just it. Uh, just me just personally. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, so, oh, but so you can't. I can't all, tell the difference. Like, oh, that's a Brian. Oh, that's a Mitsubishi. Like, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so would you rather see that, or would you rather have like? <laughs> <laughs> So basically, it's either that or <laughs> instead of instead of instead of cars, you just see people. So like, so 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 the young, so you see the young professor running eighty five miles an hour down the highway. <laughs> Or like basically like I don't know somebody would just have to like pull somebody's arm and like get in to like a. <laughs> What if there's more than one person in the car? You're just going to have to see him load up. I don't know what to tell you. (laughs) (laughs) The second one. Yeah. Second one. Because, like... I'm never going to be able to unsee the young professor visual. (laughs) (laughs) He's the first person I've thought of, too. With his really sparkly shoes. (laughs) He's got Jake the Magician on his shoulder. They're, like, cooking down the road. Yeah. I actually have a question for you guys. Oh, yeah. this is a good one, actually. <laughs> <laughs> if you could have a Funko Pop of one person, like a legit, not oh, the yeah. one on, that Steve Keller makes, like if you could have one of one cast member, like including the Nanas, including any player, any staff member, anyone in the entire Bananas organization, who would you get a Funko Pop of and why? Oh. That's a great question. Uh, Rick and the Bat Dog. He's not Ooh. an organization. Yeah. He kind of is. Kind of. Okay, okay. I, I can see that. Can that's see a cop-out. No, hang on. I gotta think of... I'd be interested to see what stilts would look like. That yeah. would be would fun. They, would they make him super tall? Would they? Or like, would they just make it so it's like proportionately... Little, little pig legs? I feel like this is also... Oh, I feel like mine's also a cop-out answer, but Reggie would be a uh, wild one. Like on my desk. Yeah, like... Just that, smile, would, like, that would be such a great one. I have a Reggie signed baseball that I have on my desk. Banana ball that I just like, just sit there. I mean, you can't go wrong with one of Vince twerking. I was going to say that too, no, yeah. No, you really can't. Like, like one, the, one of them on the plate. Like. Yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> that would be good. Those would one. be good ones. Yeah. Those would be good ones. Wait, what's your top choice? Who would you choose? Vince. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's, yeah. that's a good one. Or like the fireball pitch would be a sick fireball one. Fireball pitch would be really oh, yeah, yeah. You can add you, if you can add thing. you can right. add a specific thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh. That's that's young professor probably going like this with the mic. 
Yeah, that would be a cool one. one. Nana Gale would be a good one. Yeah, Nana Gale. I love, like, I love Nana Gale. Did you hear my walkabout idea with her? No. You're the one that I want a duet with me and her. Oh, that'd be so great. Oh, that is good. Have you brought that to the higher yeah, powers yet? Yeah, but we are not home for another like 50 days. Yeah, so. That's crazy, isn't it? It is crazy. Only they can travel. We'll fly her out for that. We'll fly her out for, for, to Durham for that. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> are the Nanas going out to California? I doubt it. No? Yeah. No. They went out to, uh, where were we? Just, just I don't know. They went know to they Arizona, went to... I think. Did they? Really? No, no, no. Another no, they went to Jacksonville. Was it Jacksonville? They, I, I thought we flew. The they were in Jacksonville closer, last year, too. But, you can um, go to the closer games. They, they did one, fly. They, they did fly. They did. I think it was... Because uh, they were all wearing their cowboy hats. I think it was... Oh, it was Texas. Yeah, it was Houston. Of Houston. course, it was Houston. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes they so much sense. They got there. <laughs> <laughs> Where else would they have gone? Of course, they went to Houston. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Ziggy with a bat would be a cool one. That would yes. be cool. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. A ladder. Yeah. A ladder would be sick. Tanner with a big butt would be fun. That's a good question. That really makes sense. a good question. Yeah, if you could pick one. Yeah, even, even like photos of a lot of those things would just yeah. be sick to have on your like yeah. man cave wall. No, but if we're thinking... Well, yeah, what would be... All right, I guess, all right, we got it. Well, we can say this. What's your Mount Rushmore of Funko Pops with the bananas? Ooh. Vince has got to be on there. Vince is on there? Yeah. Yeah, we, Yeah, we got to do collectively this. Vince yeah. is definite. Vince is on there. I think you got to go Jesse just because he's yeah. the Yellow Tux guy. Do we include Split? He's such an iconic little guy. But how would he work as a Funko Pop, though? I'm trying to think. Like, yeah. Oh, I was picturing us chiseling these faces into Mount Rushmore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a, a, Funko Pop, a Funko Pop Mount Rushmore. Mm. That's so funny. Okay, so, like, you yep, have it on your desk. Regard. Like, you have it on your guy's desk. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Understood. Like in, in the back of your laptop, yeah. Mm. Vincent and Jesse. Vincent and Jesse. And then I'm thinking Young Professor like this. It's that would be young And then maybe Nana Gale. Yeah. To round it off. Yeah. Got to Nana Gale's got to be Nana Gale or stilts. <laughs> yeah. Or stilts, yeah. But Nana Gale would be great to have yeah, on there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. That is a good idea. We should make him. We should. Okay, listen. I we'll tell Steve the, Kellogg. I hate to ask him that really a question again, but say that you have to get caught. I hate that all my questions are. <laughs> I was going to say, what are we trying to do here? <laughs> all right, continue. I, don't know. I like that. I, like I just want to know. Like, yeah. Okay. So say that you have to get caught in some kind of. I thought you said cut. cut. And I was like, yeah, like, where no, are you going caught here? <laughs> with an AU. Okay, okay. AU, not cut. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cut from the team. What do you do? <laughs> um, no, caught. Yeah, so you have to get caught in a type of natural disaster. Okay. <laughs> this is actually a good one. What would you choose? Earthquake. Like a complete, like, earthquake that literally splits the ground. Whoa. I think that would be sick. Which side that are you going on? That would be sick. Which side are you going on? Imagine, like, you have to pick a side and it just... Yeah. Like, you just gotta wave goodbye to whoever's on the other yeah. side. Reverse Pangea. Like, we're not coming together. We're literally getting split back yeah. apart. That's crazy. Okay. No, I like that. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah. I, I think, I, last night I was watching Netflix and a volcano documentary came up. Ooh, volcano. About the people getting crazy. stuck. In, like they were on vacation they were touring this volcano but it started erupting Whoa. so then they had to like get out of there and they got like super burnt but they survived wow yeah. have you guys seen the Tom Holland movie uh, The Impossible no with the um, oh the tsunami it's unbelievable oh. I've heard of that because Tim used that. to recommend that to me yeah. I was on my yeah. Spider-Man phase and so I was I was on the Spider-Man stuff and then it started recommending other movies that these guys The Impossible on. is yeah. my favorite yeah. movie Probably behind Greatest Showman, like it's one of my top. Oh, is that I watched the Greatest story? Showman the first time. Yeah, yeah. It, well, it's the tsunamis. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's the people are based on true, but the or event, like the, the event, event is real. Yeah. The event is real. Huh. Yeah. I, I might have seen that actually. Now really that you're good. mentioning it. And then it's like a they they have like a quest to try to find each their other family. Yes, yeah, but they're all, they're all split up. Yeah. Oh. Does he have a brother? They have two brothers. And two then little, they're little. There's these little like. Is it a three-year-old? A couple of men about a rescue. Yeah. Yes, that was a great movie. So I good. I have seen this. Tom Holland is in it? Tom that? Holland's in it. He's like yeah. literally 12 in it. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Maybe I should watch it again. There's that one, and then there's the cave rescue. It's called Rescue as well. It's on Disney Ooh. Plus. Um, but it's all about that the, that soccer team in Thailand that got trapped in that cave whenever the floods came in. No way. Too, they got swept down in the caves for a week, Jeez. and they were like caving. So they were deep down into this cave, and they sent rescue teams down, and they wow. almost didn't get them. It was seven days in a cave. Like, what are you eating? I mean, yeah. plenty to drink. But what are you eating for seven days? <laughs> the drink. other thing, too, did you guys see? This is the last thing I'll say about because I can go on about yeah. these. But the, the people who were working on this, like, underground tunnel system, and they, like, got caught underneath. They were trying to, like, go fix something, and they got caught, and they, like, couldn't, they couldn't move back out. And they were just in this, like, tunnel. Like, uh, imagine, like, the only way I can relate it is, like, the um, – the mouse things that like or the um 
Like what hamsters go Hams, Hamsters, go hamsters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like, like the tunnel started here and it went down. Yeah. And, like that, and they got stuck in the bottom so they couldn't climb themselves back up. Jeez. And they just died in there. They died in there. Yeah. There's, no, there's a couple, there's this one really sad story. I mean, everything's crazy. <laughs> These are crazy. These are, These are crazy. crazy. There's this, I got one um, more too after this. There's this like young girl that got like semi-trapped in like some sort of tunnel e thing like that or like a hole or something and like she was so compressed in there they couldn't do anything oh. and like you could like her head was literally out of the hole they couldn't do anything i don't know why oh. but like they basically just had to like sit with her until she like died that's oh. crazy and i was like that is absolutely insane yeah there was the, there's these mines that are like five minutes from my house in my hometown uh they're the q creek mines and the, they were mining and it collapsed while they were in there and they had to send they sent stuff from overseas these these like drill bits from overseas to get these people out of there and they made movies about it and everything and they, they all survived oh but my gosh you could hear it like yeah they were so deep that they had to bring in these they had to fly in these drill bits with like, military flew wow. in from overseas and uh saved them all and crazy story the museum's awesome huh. and you can go there and just see it all now another movie that i haven't seen yet but i want to see it is um i guess this guy i forget what war was but stepped on a landmine yeah, and he didn't, and like obviously, if you you I step on, you keep walking. One. But like he stepped on it, and he knew he stepped on it, so he just stood there. Yeah, and then I, I don't know I've what else happened. Yeah, I want to see it so badly. Like I guess I like he I... like stayed alive and like stayed on it until like the last yeah. second, and then finally like went off. I don't know. Yeah, no, I've wait, I've seen he the previous one. I don't know. I've I haven't seen the movie. I don't either. I Jesus. I just vividly remember seeing that yeah. part of it. Crazy. It freaks me out, or like sinkholes. They come out of nowhere. They oh. just swallow things up. Like you just, Florida's bad for it. I know. Or that. New York. They, um, or even Pittsburgh had one like three years ago. Um, really? Where a bus got, it, the, the sinkhole happened. Mm. And no the bus way. Was, yeah. 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 I did No one that. died, I don't think. But the whole street just disappeared. <sighs> just God. sunk. I've heard of houses just. Yeah, it's crazy. These stories make me like not want to leave the house. I know, right? <laughs> well, the house fell into the sinkhole, so maybe. So I don't want to leave. <laughs> what else? Is, where is the safest place? <laughs> Life's not safe. <laughs> yeah. I feel like if I was in a natural disaster, I feel like, I don't know, would like another ice age count? I feel like I would enjoy that to an extent. Do you have clothing to like save you nope. from being frozen? No, but I have ice skates. And I feel do like you get I would sit in the sloth. And yeah, do you get <laughs> in the squirrel? In the squirrel. Might be a package deal. Yeah. yeah. With that, sure. First it gets really warm and they all dethaw from wherever they're frozen, perfectly preserved, and then they come back to life. And then um little squirrel guy like somehow acorns into an yeah. iceberg. And then that iceberg erupts and it becomes the ice age that just kind of covers wow. the entire earth. But it's a nice one for the, most, nice. for the most part. <laughs> and basically what it does is it creates this thick layer of ice over all roads. And then you can just ice skate everywhere. That sounds like a dream, not even a natural disaster. Yeah, yeah but, you know, like, we That's can't... Everything else, yeah, nothing else. We can't do anything else. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I don't know, summer is kind of, like, off the table. But, you know, listen, <laughs> if the oceans froze... Like, think of how fun it would be to just get to other countries. You just yeah. take a little... We've set up shops alongside the... That's cool. That's yeah, cool idea. on the ice. If, if we the know ocean's freeze, we're going to be in trouble. Because we know it's not going to go <laughs> Yeah, we're going to be in big trouble. Yeah, fishing Just, like, slide, gonna... like, slide your stuff across it. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody got any water anywhere? Uh, no. But think about how cool the Winter Olympics might be. Winter Olympics, yeah. every single time the Olympics come around, Summer Olympics gone. There you go. Would you ever True. go to the Olympics to, like... If they offered you to partner with the Olympics. So like, that would be really now, cool. Like, that'd be sick. That would be really cool. You could do the ice dancing on account of the ice age. There you go. I think I think that's a new Olympic sport. They could I bring you yeah, they could yeah. bring you out and then you could do a little ice dancing thing. Yep. Like Jack Skelton. Yeah. Banana ball on ice. Banana ball on ice would be crazy. Oh, that would It'd be, be sick. <laughs> <laughs> Banana ball on ice. It would oh be so gosh. freaking cool. I don't even know what that would look like. That'd be so cool. Stilts would have a tough time. Yeah, well, Duolingo I, just did like a TikTok with I love I love all their stuff. Who? Duolingo. Oh, Duolingo. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, do, have, a, like, they have a great social media. They account. have a great yeah. social media. And it has nothing do. to do usually with no. what yeah. it is yeah. for. <laughs> Very threatening in the comment section. Like great, great replies by the people. Like funny. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. But they did like a um, full like figure skating thing for one of like a big produced figure really? skating piece, and I was like, that is crazy that, is that they did that for a TikTok. There's but more. It was, Great. So we could do that too, I think. Yeah. Well, that's all I got. We appreciate you coming on. Yeah. It's fun. Got all your questions out. 
while you're... Oh, but it's okay. No. So whenever, <laughs> whenever, whenever you come back... I'll be on 201. Just, episode yeah. 201 after... Yeah, two, there we go. Just cool. Episode yeah, 201. And I'll just, like, the another 50 or so, we'll just power through. Deal. Yeah. 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 Let's do it. Maybe we'll do another catch-up episode towards the end of the season. Yeah. Or something like that. Let's Deal. catch up with life. Okay. All right. Well, you want to do the outro? This is Ian, Jackson, and Caitlin. Thanks for hearing us out. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys later. See you.